Thanks for the great support you gave for part one of this video where we have generated wonderful figure drawing ideas from alphabet A. We could come out with different distinct actions from a single source of inspiration which is alphabet A. If you haven't watched part one yet, please go ahead and watch part one. The link is in the description. Part one has all the details about the process and the objective of this series. Alphabet B is a bit more challenging than alphabet A, however, that shouldn't stop us from taking the challenge. Now, if you are ready, let us explore the ideas from alphabet B. Let us draw the alphabet first. Alphabet B. Okay, so I am slowing down a little bit because uh, while drawing itself, I am kind of uh, uh, started worrying about or thinking about what I can make out of it. So as discussed, let us go for the silhouette and uh, while making this, I am slightly thinking about what probably I can make out of it. So it is not, it doesn't seem as straightforward as uh, we did for alphabet A. We may have to, we may have to do some little bit of uh, tweaking. So, in which way we can do that? Okay, so let us let us uh, make one more shape of it. Here, I am thinking that these two curves of part B, they could be the chest area and the hip area uh, of a figure. So, the top one is the chest area, maybe the bottom one is the hip area. And uh, let us, I mean, shade it and look at the shape. This could be the leg. This looks like a, a, a portion of the figure and let us complete it by adding uh, some symmetrical shapes on the left side also. So this is a kind of idea that I am getting from this alphabet. Okay. See, as I told, you don't have to precisely draw it as uh, alphabet B. Alphabet B is just a source of inspiration to get some initial idea. The idea that I got from here is the two portions of B, the letter B, two kind of semicircles and one of it looked like a portion of the chest, the other one looked like a portion of the hip and from that I have developed this idea. This is something like a girl walking far away from, away from us facing the back side and uh, we got the clarity now, no? so let us, let us draw it again and then do some little bit of coloring okay right so let us uh, let us pick up uh, let us finish this uh, suggest suggestive drawing and pick up some colors so i have used some kind of uh, a liliac kind of a color you can use any color okay i just picked up one color uh, in the last part we have used green color so i thought i will use a different color that's it Upper body, I am always using some light color and the lower body, I use darker color. So most likely, I will keep that as a pattern. The upper upper body uh, with a lighter color, lower body with a darker color and the color that I have used uh, for the lower body is uh, paints gray. So the darker colors that I am using is paints gray and the lighter colors uh, may, might change. Okay, So here I have used sort of lilia color, you can use lavender, blue, light green, whatever. Now this looks reasonably good to me, so I am adding little bit more exposed body part so that it adds little bit more interest. This looks interesting to me, oh, that orange color got spread a little bit, so let us cover it, okay. So this looks, this looks convincing. Do you think it is convincing? Let me know, you know uh, your, your opinion in the comment box below. So what was your idea? Do you, did you had any, any other idea when we started this? Maybe when we, when we started the alphabet or when we came out with the silhouette or you might have tried of your own. I mean, if you had some different idea, please do let me know. And uh, this looks good to me with with the shadows and uh, the shapes and now let us go for another one let us make it slightly tilted 
alphabet B. Okay. See, I, I'm always looking for variety. I'm, see, you might, you should not get the same idea re repeatedly. So I wanted the idea to be slightly different. So I'm a little bit uh, deliberate on that part of it. That is why I, I tilted the letter. But again, even after tilting, I, I wanted the kind of body motion to be different. Okay. This again, the upper portion looks like the chest and the lower portion looks like the hip. But he, now I wanted to make it in a different kind of orientation. Okay, so let us let us clarify that thought. So maybe maybe this time it is a profile view. Uh, in the first one, we did the, the the back view of a figure. Now it is we are seeing somebody slightly leaning forward with the chest area little forward, and maybe he's sitting. So the 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 hip uh, touching the ground, and this is the upper and lower leg. Maybe maybe he's sitting. He or she is sitting on top of something. Okay, and the legs are. Uh, folded and uh, maybe slightly looking down. So this this is an idea that I am getting right now. Okay. So you may find this kind of posture little difficult because you you we should have some kind of idea on the overall proportion and uh, little bit about the perspective of it. But if you observe figures uh, and if you sketch the figures. I think you will get that clarity soon. Now I am directly painting, I am directly drawing with the brush itself. And the brush that I am using here is a, it's a kind of a, a calligraphy brush. It's a soft, uh, soft round brush with slightly narrow bristles. Okay. You can use any good pointed round brush, smaller size okay, for this. And uh, same color scheme. I'm using the same kind of a color scheme. And as I told, he or she is sitting on top of some something. I don't know what it is. Right. So where he's again. I'm not very sure whether I'm going to make it as a male or female. So, see, at these tiny levels, the distinction between male and female is very, very, very narrow. Okay, very, very, that is very tricky. Now it looks like kind of a male figure, for example. Okay, so if you want to make it a f female figure, maybe we'll have to tweak the hairstyle a little bit. That is pretty much, I think, the only thing we can uh, we can we can change to to convert that into a female because other features are so tiny you may not be able to I mean see it at this tiny level. Okay, so this looks this looks good to me. Maybe a little bit of a hairstyle change and it is looking like a lady now, female figure. At least it looks a female figure to me. Okay, next let us go with uh, small letters, small alphabets. And let us go with both uh, some two different versions of the small letter B. See, you can tilt the alphabet in either way. I have tilted it in this way, but you could tilt it the other way around backward and the process remains same writing the this one alphabet and uh, then coming out with the silhouette then developing on based on the silhouette okay now what is the next idea since it is tilted towards the right uh, the the angle of the body movement will be towards the right okay so that is uh, that is something that you have to note and uh, the darker portion looks like a hip and uh, the the upper portion I am converting it into the the I mean the chest area as we have discussed and let us sort of uh, add legs 
upper leg and lower leg and while making the legs okay while adding the leg you had to you had to tweak or you had to change the legs size the size of the leg uh, indicates uh, movements okay if both the legs the upper leg and lower leg if you keep both at the same proportion same height same length then you may not find much of movement because the legs when one leg moves apart from the other that creates movements and that creates some kind of a, uh, an action and when the legs are moving you will find that they have different lengths okay so this here the the here the right side leg is coming towards us and uh, the left side leg uh, is going forward that means the right side and left side in res with respect to us with respect to me okay now at this point i am just covering the upper body with some light color and lower body with with dark color the same color scheme i don't want to complicate it by picking different colors so the complication all the complications we can avoid we can worry or uh, focus on the main objective which is to come out with ideas okay now this looks this looks okay to me uh, i think the leg when the slightly taller longer but that is okay maybe he is holding a bag and that is justifying his body angle the tilting okay he is carrying some heavy weight on the bag so his body is slightly tilted to keep the center of gravity and keep the balance the orange color that i am using is picked directly from the tube without diluting much right <clears throat> i think this is fine so see by looking at the image the final image i don't think uh, we have developed it from figure b alphabet b but we know the sequence and we 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 understand how it was developed so i mean you can develop different possibilities uh, based on your thought process at the at the specific point of time okay if i did the same exercise at a different time the figures would have been different because these are ideas that coming that comes to our mind uh, instantaneously so this could be the silhouette for b and uh, let us let us convert that into a shape now the, this also looks to me this this silhouette also looks like the upper body and lower body the chest and hip area but the upper body looks very lean to me this area looks very lean to me and we may have to widen it to to kind of justify the proportion okay. now let us let us uh, let us add actually when I, when i am when i am just moving the pencil uh, i mean i am actually thinking what i should do with what should be the shape etc okay so we have to i am thinking of uh, what what should be the what should be the change maybe we'll add uh, add a head here and then we'll decide what to do next this is the head portion see many times we may have different ideas or we may have no ideas we may be a little blank so we have to maybe take a pause and then decide okay now this looks reasonably okay to me the upper body and the hip we have to connect some leg movement to that now i have added some leg movement now the problem that i am facing is uh this and the previous image they look si similar kind of a pose so what i am doing is i am slightly manipulating the hand movement so that they look different poses i don't know really what he is doing he is playing with some pole or something okay 
maybe he is trying to pull it out or i don't know what he is doing he is doing something that's it what exactly is he doing is something that we will let the viewers to decide okay you can decide what he is doing as far as the moment is convincing the overall body movement is convincing the proportion is convincing uh, i am happy with that okay now this looks good to me so we have uh, we had a, a couple of ideas and uh, see we can we can have i mean different different figures based on how we write the initial letter b and what are the ideas we developed further upon okay so infinite possibilities are there you please practice it practicing is the key i mean tilt the letter uh, put the letter b write the letter b in upside down maybe you rotate letter b 90 degrees 45 degrees 30 degrees you get different ideas you will get some poses where the figure is lying down they may be they may be maybe uh, sleeping position or whatever you can get various ideas okay so i hope this video was uh, informative please do practice and uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions please share this video to your artist friends and so that they also can take benefit of it and if you have any questions or comments please do uh, write to me in the comment box below i will surely find some time and get back to you so thank you very much once again and we will soon see you with uh, alphabet c in the next video so thank you very much until then goodbye happy painting